Good morning and welcome to day 11 of our 21 day prayer and devotions each day um, new things new revelations in fact yesterday we talked about how um, to increase our faith by allowing God to reveal himself more to us uh, we asked you to think on his character ponder on his um, goodness ask him to give you more new newer revelations of who he is so that your faith can be stretched beyond um what it is right now uh, so that you can ask god for more territories new territories in this new season um have you i don't know if you ever participated in a race um when you participate in a race you hope for two things well most people hope for one thing uh, but we you know technically we should hope for two things one that we f- we win the race of course we want to win the race that's why we are in a race Uh, but there is another thing that we need to also hope for that we that we finish well that we actually finish um i remember the words of caleb um as he spoke to joshua when joshua was um, you know after he conquer he led the, um the people of hebrews into the promised land and is dividing the inheritance between them uh, joshua is talking to um, caleb and caleb replies to him about uh, by reminding him of the promise that Moses had given him and he says something wonderful to Joshua and i think that's the thought that i want to give you today in order uh, to teach you or encourage you to run your race with a greater hope newer hope um chapter 14 of Joshua verses 10 as you see the lord kept me alive these 45 years as he promised since the lord spoke his word to moses while israel was journeying in the wilderness here i am today 85 years old um i'm still as strong as today um as strong today as i was the day moses sent me out my strength for battle and for daily tasks is now as it was then now give me this hill country the lord promised me on that day because you heard then that the uh, anakim are there as well as the large fortified cities perhaps the lord with me we will be with me and i will drive them out as the lord promised um caleb talking to joshua is reminding joshua of an experience that they both had gone through um 45 years ago caleb was 40 years old when moses sent him to Ka- in uh, you know to Uh, check out the Canaanite land in uh, at Kadesh Barnea. Um, among uh, those who returned with the news, only Caleb and of course Joshua are the only two people who came with a positive mindset. Rest of the ten spies uh, came with a slavish mind and said, uh, "No, I don't think we can ever win this land." Uh, but because of Caleb's faith, Moses looks at him when Caleb was forty years old. Remember that, and tells him, Caleb. one day when you, when we enter into the promised land god will give you an inheritance in this land what a promise it was for caleb and he remembered that and he kept his um, faith in that promise that god gave him and kept running uh, his race well that's why even now when he was 85 years old he's looking at joshua and he's saying hey i have the same vigor same passion same mindset i know that god would give me this hill land which is you know for most part of uh, for for most of them it is an unconquerable um, task but even though i'm old i'm still i i still have faith in my god i'm still going to go and conquer this land what i hope he has hope is the expectation of good in our lives it helps us to finish well um we my hope of the finish line keeps me going Uh, to win a race or even to finish a race there are many races running races i have participated in my school um, the, the races would have lasted hardly 5 minutes um, 90% i never won but i don't think i have ever given up in the middle of my race i've always ran the race just for 5 minutes when i, f- I c- you know finish and cross the line even if i didn't win it brought me more satisfaction than anything else you know had i quit in the middle i would have been more depressed uh, more dissatisfied with my life 
but the even for 5 minutes i ran that race and finish it i felt really happy i felt fulfilled imagine a guy running for 45 years with the same faith same passion that um it's not just a 5 minute huh? it's a 45 years of running towards a promised land that god gave him uh, whether it's 5 minutes or 45 minutes hope keeps us believing and running our race as we navigate through our life on the earth sometimes we focus on the temporal things we face and and shorted short sightedness robs us of our hope um even as israelites even as the israelites you know uh, wandered around the wilderness caleb could have focused on on the circumstances around him and i loved what is happening to him to dampen his faith and his hope instead he set his eyes on god's promise to israel and that hope and vision of his inheritance kept him physically and mentally strong at 85 it is one thing to be strong at 40 years old physically um it is a totally different ball game when you are 85 years old and it and joshua uh, caleb says to joshua i'm still as as strong as i was at 40 years old i'm i still have the same vigor same passion i can do this how how, how can he have that kind of faith it's because his hope is in god his his hunger uh, for god's promise to be fulfilled in his life um kept him going and that's why joshua gave him that uh, and told him hey you know go ahead and conquer i think paul um, is right when he prays this prayer for his for all of us for church actually romans chapter 15 verse 13 says i pray that 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 i pray that god the source of hope will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the holy spirit that was paul's prayer for church maybe for you and for me and that's my prayer for you that i hope i pray that god the source of hope will completely fill you with joy and peace because you trust in him bible tells us god is the source of our hope um he is the source of overflowing and confident hope so let us ask god to fill us with his hope a uh, new hope a, f- a fresh Uh, renew our hope uh, in case if you have you know dampened it because of circumstances around you what dreams did god place in your heart before you began this race um what are the things that are dampening your hope in god to see his dream in your life being fulfilled i love the holy spirit ask the holy spirit to fill you with hope confident hope overflowing confident hope so that you would be refreshed and gain a new perspective new hope um, into these new dreams um, or revive them um, that you know from from being dampened that's my prayer for you don't stop dreaming keep your hope on on Jesus you know, who is the author and finisher of our faith god bless you